number to a five singles going straight to that number one spot. Well, on the phone now is Shane's mum, May Feeling May. Hello there. Hello, Lorraine. Oh, good morning to you. You must be absolutely delighted. They're record breakers now. We're just trying to recover now today after all the excitement yesterday. It was unbelievable. It's great. It really is. How did you find out? Were you listening to the radio? Louis rang me as soon as he got the phone call. He rang me and he asked me to tell all the other mothers and all the other families. So that's what I did. Right. And everybody was just so excited. It was it's like a dream, the whole thing, you know. Oh, it's wonderful. It's really good and very, very well deserved. You mentioned Louis there. Now, isn't it the case that actually you contacted Louis, who, who co-manages him with Ronan Keating? You contacted Louis uh, way back in the early days when the guys were still quite unknown. I did in, 19, uh, in February 98, yeah. I contacted Louis because the boys had a band here called IOU and um, we weren't just happy the way things were going and I decided I'd ring Louis and ask him for advice Right. Uh, because Shane had been in college and I wanted to you know what he was going to do, was he going to continue in college or was he going to enter the band so I rang Louis and Louis met them yeah. and he was so excited like he thought they were very good so after that just history. Fantastic. We're seeing a picture of you and, and your boy. That was good fun on Friday, wasn't it? <laughs> when they were surprised by all you mums. It was great. So what, the, Now, where were they when they found out they were number one? Weren't they on a plane somewhere? They were on a plane to New York. So somebody contacted them and told them and um, Shane rang me straight away from the plane. I don't know how he managed to get making a phone call, but he rang us straight away to tell us. And they were all so excited. Unfortunately, we couldn't be there to celebrate with them. Yeah. But we'll celebrate when they come home at the end of April. I'll bet you will. I'll bet you're celebrating quite right too. Where are they just now? They must be tucked up in their little beds in America, are they? What time is it over there? It must be, yeah, in Pardon? the middle of the night. I can't hear you, Lorraine. I think they'll be asleep at the moment, won't they? I said, they're, yeah, it's, they're five hours behind us. That's right. It's about four o'clock in the morning. Oh, well, they'll be in their beds. They'll be in their beds now. I should think so. I, should still, think I don't so. suppose they'll be annoyed if somebody waking them up. <laughs> Well, listen, you must be very proud of them. I'm sure you, I'm sure you are. I'm really, tr everybody is. I'm really delighted and I'm very proud of Shane and all the, boy the other four boys. They are such nice lads and we wish them all the best of luck in the future. We never expected to have five number ones inside 12 months and, and going into the Guinness Book of Records. It's wonderful. May, thank you for talking to us. Thank you for coming in on Friday as well to, to help us with that surprise. It was really, really good. We really enjoyed ourselves and, and good luck to them. And May, I'll tell you what, let's play some of that number one song. Here it is. Let's, let's treat ourselves. Thank you very much, Lorraine. <laughs>